Okay, we are going to build out this funnel from A to Z. Everything from the funnel to the forms to the automations. We're even going to get paid ads going. So you can see what it looks like to go from nothing to start generating leads in the same day. Now, this is going to be a lead gen funnel for a Facebook community funnel. This is going to be to get people into the Filmmaker Funnels community. We're going to send them through the funnel. They'll opt in. They'll then get the link to join, and then we'll have them in our CRM and high level. And yes, I am aware that you can get some Chrome extensions to send people right to the Facebook group, but typically Facebook doesn't actually like you sending people to Facebook groups through ads. It's kind of weird, but that's just what we found. The conversions are way better this way. So let's jump in. Now, I will be referencing my other screen up here above my working screen. Uh, I've laid out a lot of the copy. I've laid out the headline. I've laid out like the color codes, just some different things to save time. I've also already uploaded a lot of the image assets and video assets that we'll be using to my account here. One other quick disclaimer, you can see here I am in Course Creator 360. Uh, if you're in bid lead or go high level, you'll be able to follow along with all of this just fine. It's all going to work exactly the same inside of the software that you are in, or really the version of the same software that you are in. So let's jump in. We're going to head over to our sites tab first. Uh, I always keep things done by in folders based on what I'm working on. So keep things organized. So this is going to be a filmmaker funnels funnel. So we'll be in here in the FMF tab. We're going to go create a new funnel. We're going to name this FMF community funnel. So first thing I always do with a new funnel is I go to the settings. There's a few things we need to tackle here. The first thing is the domain. So just select the domain you want this to be on. What I love about like GHL 360s, we can have unlimited domains. So I'm going to select market with Mark. Next thing we need are the favicon URL and the head tracking. So I'm going to show you how to get the favicon URL and I'm going to show you the way that I usually just do this. So the way I do it to get this stuff is I just open up 360 in another tab and I just go to a funnel that's already built out. So let's say I go to premium, I go to settings. I've already got my favicon URL in here. So I'm just going to paste it and I've already got my head tracking code. So inside of the head tracking code box this is where we want to put like our meta pixel, our Google tracking, uh, any other tracking codes or anything like that that we're using, they all go in here and you'll click save. Now, real quick, if you want to find that favicon URL, uh, you just need to go into your media storage folder and you need to just go to the image of the favicon. So let's say I, I need to do better with this account of organizing my stuff. I need a branding and logo folder that has my logo and my favicon. I don't have that right now. That's my bad. That's what we all should be doing. So I need to do a better job with that myself. Uh, but let's just use an example. Uh, let's say I wanted to grab, let's say this was the favicon. It's not, but let's say it was. I would just go to the three dots. I would go get link. And that's the link that I would paste in to the favicon. So it's, it's quite simple. Uh, also, real quick on favicons, typically what I do to create those is I just come into Canva. I have a favicon template. It is 40 by 40 pixels. You just put the logo right there, transparent background, and it'll look like this. So the favicon is this little Canva icon right here on the tab. Uh, and that's what we want to do. So next thing we're going to do once we have our settings taken care of is come in here to our steps. And I just like to add, lay out my steps. So this is going to be the opt-in page. And this is a very simple funnel. It's just two-step funnel. So we're going to have an opt-in page and a thank you page. Opt-in page, thank you page. Awesome. Now, normally what I would do right here is I'd probably go create the form. Um, but I want to put the form creation in a separate video just to make it a little easier to watch. So we'll hold off on that and then we'll plug the form in after the fact. That's not a big deal. So let's go and create our funnel. So typically what I would do is I would go use from existing and I would grab one of my other full make uh, FMF funnels. And I would just grab that opt-in page because you can see it already has like the background. It already has... The call out already has the color codes, already has like the customized buttons. Everything's already in here, so it would save me a lot of time. But we're going to go ahead and build this from scratch. So we're going to go create from blank. Now, when we're creating funnels, we want to remember kind of the three layers that we have here in high level and that are 
sections, or those are sections, rows, and elements. So first we need a section. This is kind of like the canvas. Uh, and then, or I guess the section is kind of like the easel, right? And then the row is kind of like the canvas. And then the elements are the paint because that's where we actually put something. So we have our section, which is our easel, that we put our row, which is our canvas, that we can then put our elements, which are our paint, to actually create the design. So we're going to go ahead and first thing before I even add this row is on my section, I'm going to go and add a background. So to add a background, we're going to go to this BG Media. And I keep this outside. This is intentionally not in a folder because I use this one a lot. Uh, it's just sort of a nice gray, white, textured background. Again, these aren't things that are going to make a huge difference in conversions. It's just the look that I like for my brand. So we're going to go ahead now and add our row and add our element. We're going to do an image because we need to get my logo. So I'm going to grab my logo. And I know that for this particular logo, 150 is a good width. So right here is where you change your width and height of your image. Now, I don't like all that space above there. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, go ahead and just change the margin and padding. Let me just wipe my glasses off real quick. Uh, change the margin and padding. We'll just go all the way at 50. Now, it caps out here at 50 on the slider, but you can manually put in, you know, 100 or even higher. So just to keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I know some of the elements I'm going to be needing. So I know I'm going to be needing a subheadline for my call out. I know I'm going to be needing a headline, and then I know I'm going to be needing a paragraph. So the call out is we're calling out who this is for. So in this case, this is for filmmakers, content creators, and video agencies. And remember I said on my other screen up above, I already have some of this stuff written out. Uh, filmmakers, content creators, and video agencies. What I'm gonna do is make this pop though a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the orange. This is the element. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a background. Now I don't see the color that I want. I want this really nice red that I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that color code from my Google Doc and do add color. And of course it didn't work. Color already exists. That's not the right color. Didn't find the color you want. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so of course uh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt here saying the color already exists even though it doesn't so this is a good time to show you how I actually get color codes anyways so I'll just go to any Canva page here uh, now if I want a color like let's say one of my brand colors I would grab my logo I would throw it on this page and then I would click the blank canvas and it will show you these photo colors and that's how you can get like the right yellow the right blue whatever um, but for this I want a really nice red color so I'm just gonna go to the wheel and I'm going to move this all the way over here. Now, this is the color that it was saying doesn't exist. So let's try a slightly different one. Ooh, that's not what we want. All right. We'll grab this guy right here. Anyways, that's how I get color codes or match colors. Uh, and we'll come back here. Add a custom color. Add color. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is make my call out here bold and change my bold text color to white. I'm also going to change my icon color to white and I'm going to add in a quick icon. Let's just search for something like alert. You know, we'll do for filmmakers, content creators, and video agencies. And what I want to do next is make this subheadline pop a little bit more. So again, I'm going to grab the element here of the subheadline. I'm going to go to advanced, and I'm going to add two box shadows. First one, I'm just going to leave as default. Second one, I'm just going to change these first two twos to negatives. So we have two, 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 zero, and then we have negative two, negative two, two, zero. And that just gives it that nice shadow. I'm not going to give it a border, but you could give it a border by doing that. You could also give that border a radius and really round it by just adding in a radius, but we're not going to do a border for this. Uh, now, what I do want to do is make this box, this red box, shorter because it sticks out a lot on both sides. So we're going to go ahead in here and just go back to general, making sure that we're still on the subheadline, and we're going to go to the margins. And the bigger this number, the smaller it will actually be. So we're going to go, let's try... Uh, let's try 220. 
Let's see, 220 on both sides looks like. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we've got our nice call out now. So for filmmakers, content creators, and video agencies, the reason we do this is obviously we don't want the wrong people opting in. We don't want to be getting leads just for the sake of getting leads. We want the right leads. We want this to be clear who this offers for. So for filmmakers, content creators, video agencies, and here we have our headline. So I'm going to show you real quick how I got how I got to this headline. Uh, first, let's just space it out. We can play with the sizing in a, in a minute. So the way I got this headline is I went to ChatGPT, and this is what I would suggest you guys do. I told ChatGPT, I'm creating a funnel to get people into my free Facebook group where I teach filmmakers and content creators how to use Go High Level to automate their lead gen. I also teach them about funnels, automations, and paid ads. Take this headline. Then what I did is I just kind of wrote a headline that was the first thing that came to my top of mind was pretty general, kind of what I was doing. I tried to do this coming from the perspective of somebody who doesn't write a ton of headlines to show you how you can take a very basic idea and turn it into a winning formula. So how to use Vidlead Studio slash GHL to automate your lead generation, right? Like most basic headline. So I said, take this headline and take the info given to make and make any additions and write me a headline using this formula. And then I gave it a formula that I know converts really well. This is one of the highest converting headline formulas. And I got this from this resource that you actually have in the Filmmaker Funnel System course. Uh, and this is my high converting headline formulas. You can go ahead and grab any one of these formulas. So in this case, I chose formula one, how uh, X are achieving Y result in Z timeframe using A. And I gave it to ChatGPT and said, based on all this information uh, and make any additions you see fit, you take this headline that I wrote, which is super basic, and use this formula. And ChatGPT then gave me the formula that we are using, which is filmmakers and content creators. And I could even add how filmmakers and content creators are automating their lead generation in 30 days using Go High Level and Vidlead Studio. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a underline under automating their lead generation and then actually we'll extend that to 30 days and then we'll go ahead and we'll make our underline color that bright red. So how filmmakers and content creators are automating their lead generation in 30 days. So we highlight that because that's showing the result automating lead generation. It's also showing the time frame in which you can expect to achieve the result, which is 30 days, which is super, super reasonable. Uh, honestly, if you go through the FMF system course, you could probably set the whole thing up in a day and then you could probably be generating leads the next day. So then we'll do sort of this little sub headline uh, paragraph. And again, I already wrote this out. So typically this is going to be something that should be supporting and honestly i think i could do this as a sub headline not a paragraph so i'm going to grab a sub headline we're going to go with size 18. give us some space filmmakers and content creators are automating the lead generation third days using go high level and vidlead studio and then we'll say join the free filmmaker funnels community to learn how. Now, as always, uh, this is the first kind of just draft of all of this copy of these headlines. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a B testing, testing different headlines, testing different sub headlines, testing different layouts as always. So we're going to go ahead. Filmmakers, content creators are automating their lead generation in 30 days and go high level in VidLead Studio. We'll make that cap. Join the free Filmmaker Funnels community below to learn how. Then what we're going to do is add an image. So what I always do, actually, I think what we'll do is we'll add a two column row. So go ahead, I'll add two column row. This one's going to be uh, an image. And as always, I created a folder specifically for this funnel. So Filmic FMF Community Funnel. I'm going to grab this mock-up right here. Now, keep in mind when you're designing on desktop, keep in mind the layer of mobile. Uh, so whatever's in your left-hand column here on a two on a two row will show up first on 
uh, mobile device. So keep that in mind when you are designing it. And don't worry about this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change that when we get to the mobile editing. Okay, cool. So we've got our little mock-up here. Uh, this was done simply by taking a screenshot of the Facebook group and then going to MediaModifier.com and just searching for a laptop mock-up. Canva does have some mock-ups. I think Media Modifier is way better. I do pay for the pro subscription to get it without a background and get more designs. I think it's about $20 a month for the frequency that I use it with how many funnels I build. It's definitely worth it because having these mock-ups really does help with conversions quite a bit. Uh, so that's the tool I'm using. Now we can you know, change up our sizing here between our two rows. So what we want to do here is we're going to have our mock-up. And then over here, because this is a really simple funnel, we want to present the information as quickly and simply as possible. We're just going to have a little checklist of the things that they can expect to learn inside the community. So what I want to do, though, to make it stand out is give it a white background. Go over to advanced. We're going to give it the same two box shadows. So one is going to be 22220. The other one is going to be two, two, uh, negative 2, negative 2, 2, 0. So we just put the negatives, give it a full border. We're going to make the border uh, transparent and then we're just going to round the edges slightly with a 10 radius. So here's what we'll do. We'll do, uh, here's what's, I'm trying to think of like, we want to present what's going to be in here. So we're just going to go put that here for now. Do a subhead, quick sub headline. Uh, actually, maybe not. We'll do bullet list. We're going to go ahead and change our icon color to red. Now for the icons, I like these uh, little rounded check boxes. I also like the arrow. I think they both look good. We're going we're gonna to go with the check boxes for this. We'll use the arrows for call to action. So free workshops and trainings on all right, so we'll do what's inside the community. Actually, you know, we'll do what to expect, what to expect inside the community. And then we'll do subheadline, put that above. Do free trainings on Let's put this to the side, make it bold, make it red, and then let's give it some space between this other element. I'm also going to grab a divider. I'm going to put a divider right here. I'm going to change that to red. Let's go 75%, two pixels. Okay, so what to expect inside the community, free trainings on, and I've got these listed out. Let's see if it lets me put them all in at once. Perfect. Bid leads, such go high level funnels, automations, paid ads, marketing strategies, and more. Let's test out some different sizings. Right here, we'll put our call to action. Because remember, on mobile, we want that call to action to be close there to the top. So we'll go ahead and do our call to action. Uh, this is going to be red. We're going to go to advanced. Come here. Advanced. We'll go to border. So I want to get like my yellow color for my brand for the border. So I can actually show you here. Well, actually, no, I do or I do have it. So I would just go to Canva. I would do that same thing uh, of just grabbing my logo and matching it from Canva will match the colors for you. Make it really easy. So I'm going to grab my yellow and apply this uh, border radius. I like to do 15 on the buttons. Again, my preference. Now I'm looking for the effect. Uh, it looks like they've moved the effect. All right, we'll find that later. I like to do the glowing effect. Uh, they did have these animations, which are cool. Um, but I like to do the glowing effect. 
But for some reason, I'm not seeing the effect. Oh, well, not a big deal. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and do accept your invitation. Spell check those. Invitation. If you haven't already figured out, I'm not a good speller. Uh, or typer. Grab an arrow. So, interestingly enough, these kind of right-facing arrows uh, do give a little bit of a noticeable bump most of the time on conversions in A-B testing. So, any bump's a good bump if it's going the right way. So, next thing I want to do is subtext. I want to make it that yellow. Uh, and then font weight for the button. I'll typically, we'll do gold. And then subtext, get instant community access. It's my space bar didn't press in there. And we are going to have it open a pop-up. So that default action is good. Uh, that right there, so the link to, this is going to be the button action. When someone submits it, you can choose from a multitude of different things. We want to open a pop-up. I think that 35 is a little big. Let's try 28. Cool. It's got 20. Awesome. Make sure to save, by the way. Um, I don't know if they've added an autosave. I don't think they have an autosave. And sometimes there'll be an error and it won't save. Oh, and also one thing we should have done at the beginning actually is SEO metadata. This is one of those things that's good to do with your settings. Just kind of first thing, get it out of the way. Um, is because you, you'll forget about it like I almost did. Click on SEO metadata, go to content. This is just where you can put in what's going to show here on the tab. Um, so I'm just going to do accept your invite and then FMF community update SEO. There we go. Just make sure it updated. Sweet. You can put a social image in here and do other stuff here as well if you'd like. But we're just going to do that for now. All right, so let's go ahead and preview this without all this stuff. So very simple funnel. You can see my favicon's working. That SEO metadata I just uploaded is working or update is working. Great, very simple funnel. And simplicity oftentimes is very, very good. So the next thing we're going to do is... I'm going to put a little bit of info about me. Um, I have found that this does tend to help just to let people know a little bit more about kind of who's leading the community. Uh, unless you're someone that is already super well known, uh, like very recognizable, like a Hermosi or something like that. Uh, but most of us <laughs> are not at that level. So I'm just going to do a little bit of social proof. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a one column. I'm going to give it a background here of white. Let's go ahead and give it a full border. I'm going to try something, a red border that's dashed. Really make it pop, 15. What we'll do here is actually an image feature. Uh, so I'm just going to search for it. Image feature. I'm going to grab a picture of myself. And again, I need to be better organized. I need a branding folder putting that on my list, set up my branding folder. Cause every time I come in here, I'm like, I got to do this and I haven't done it yet. Uh, so I want to find the picture of me. Let's see where it is. Nope. See, because I'm not organized, I'm over here wasting time looking for this. Come on. Maybe it's here. Here it is. Okay, picture. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, hey, I'm Mark. Uh, and sometimes I'll put like the wave emoji. So let me just grab that. Hey, I'm Mark. And then just a quick little bio. Over the past five years, I've taught over 3,000 filmmakers and content creators how to understand and implement marketing strategies through my courses, the Real Deal Video Strategies Club, Micro Content Mastery, and this free starter course. So we want to obviously change this because this is talking about the starter course. 
um, inside this community, I'm pulling back the curtain on what I've been teaching. So I actually want to do inside this free community, I'm pulling back the curtain on what I've been teaching my high ticket clients. And we'll say join today to get, hmm, I'm trying to think of the best way to word this. I'll come back here and I'll finalize this copy later. Um, I don't want to waste too much time on it right now. Um, but I'm going to fill that out a little bit more. Basically, I want to let them know like, hey, you can join today to kind of get like a fully transparent, nothing's held back view of everything that I teach my paying clients. Uh, up to this point. So we're going to give it all away to you for free. So I do want to change a couple quick things. You can change the ratio of text to image right here. Now you also can change the image size itself uh, right here. So I can make the image smaller, which I do want to make the image smaller. All right, perfect. Next thing we're going to do inside this row is just add one more call to action. And we also want to put in uh, the free gift. So let's go ahead and grab this call to action. We're going to do red. I wish they would let you save buttons if you can, and I don't know about it. Please let me know because that would be so nice if I could just save button templates instead of having to come in here and do all this every time, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to do full border. So full border. Our yellow color, 15 radius. We're going to make our font bold. Going to make our icon the arrow. And then we'll just grab our copy from right here. Accept your invitation. Excellent. I'd also probably put something in this copy too, but like I want to personally invite you, you know, to this community or something like that. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is just put in the free gift. So put that down here. Go ahead and we'll grab our white background. And we'll do uh, plus I'm giving you this free gift when you join today. Make that headline big. Uh, now we're going to go grab a two column row. And I'm going to grab an image here. Same kind of layout is up here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, this is going to be the course, FMF workshops, some community liquor funnels, it's going to be right here. I think we'll go with this image uh, for this. Do the white backgrounds. Again, our double box shadow, making the second just have the two negatives. I'm going to give it a border. That 10 radius, we're going to make the background transparent. And then we're going to say get the filmmaker funnel system course 100% free. Underline that, make it green. And then I'm going to grab a sub headline. And I'm just pulling this info straight from my Filmmaker Funnels course landing page. Uh, so, no reason to try to, you know, come up with new info or stuff like that if you already have the info somewhere else and it's already working and converting. Go ahead and grab. 
our checkbox. I'm going to make these icons. Uh, we'll do red. So I'm just grabbing all this stuff from my other page. Okay, so obviously this is kind of out of whack here. So let's see what we could do to just make it look a little better. So first thing we could probably do would be make these smaller. But that 15 is a little too small. Let's try 18. All right, I think if we do that and then we put our call to action bit, call to action uh, button down here, we'll be in good shape. Get the filmmaker funnel system course 100 free step by step video guides on how to generate leads and autopilot build high converting funnels automate your email nurturing powerful yeah yeah sweet i'm so interested to see how this does versus just the course it's going to be a, a fun test join the community now We always do our arrow pointing right. Let's go ahead and just get our border. 15 radius. The 28. Join um, the community now. Unlock the entire course bundle for free cool I'm gonna make that uh, that font a little more, more bold as well awesome we'll go ahead and save Great, so I think we're about good here. Uh, ready to go, this is looking nice. Very clean, very simple. Love it. So what I'm gonna do here is just make sure I grab my footer. So I have this saved as a template, obviously, MM footer. Uh, this is just the disclaimers, terms, all that stuff. So go ahead and we'll add that footer in. Now we need to go ahead and design our pop-up. So our pop-up, one column. Usually I'll just start by putting the logo. Again, need my logo folder. This small logo, oh, small logo. Uh, Subheadline, let me know where to send your free course. It always helps too, like in these uh, forms and stuff or these opt-ins when you just kind of give them a legitimate reason, like, hey, I'm asking you for email because I got to send this free course to you somewhere. So we haven't built the form yet. We're going to do that in a separate video, just to make it easier to follow, but that's where we'll put our form. Then after the form, I always do a paragraph and I'm just copying it from this other funnel. It's just going to say, I'll put the lock emoji and then I'll say, I never rent, sell, or spam your information. And we always want to give it about a 10 margin. Because when we put the form in, it'll look a little wonky. Okay, we'll go ahead and click save. Awesome. So we've got our opt-in page done. Always just make sure you go check it on mobile because remember right here, we messed with these margins. We put them each at 220. That put them at 220 for mobile. But what's good is when we're in mobile, we can actually go ahead and put them back to zero. And now when we go back to desktop, it's still at 220 on desktop, but it's at zero because it's completely different uh, editor, essentially. So let's try some smaller fonts here. 18 looks good. I want to get this guy smaller for sure. So if we put that at 20, put that at 15. I'd like this to be a bit bigger. Just got to find, uh, like that looks weird. That looks weird. All right, we're just gonna keep it at, I'm gonna keep it at 20 for now. I'll come in and I'll mess with it. I'll uh, we'll put that guy at 15. Ah, no, it needs to be bigger, it needs to be bigger. 
I just don't like this studio sticking out there, but we'll mess with it later. All right, go ahead and just clean up some of these. We just want to make sure that our icon is on the same line as our text, as we saw before, it was below. It just looks a little bit wonky. Just make sure everything looks clean. We'll do smaller for these. Same thing. Come in here, change this. Ooh. Change this margin a little bit. So really with the mobile, it's just a matter of coming in and cleaning it up. Uh, they do a pretty good job of optimizing it, but just come in and clean up some stuff. Usually it's just sizing and whatnot. Honestly, that's really all it is. Cool. Go ahead and save. So our opt-in page is done, we're ready to go. Now we can go and do our confirmation page, which will be quick. So thank you page, we're gonna use an existing now, right? Because we just built our opt-in page. So this is something that we have in the context of this start from scratch build. So we'll go from FMF community, we'll grab our opt-in page. This is just gonna save a couple minutes. So we'll go ahead and edit that. And let me actually grab the link for the Facebook group because we will need that. So let me just check this. Sorry, I'm looking at a bunch of stuff. It's got notifications and messages. Um, okay, we'll grab this. We're gonna delete the subheadline. We're gonna delete that. And delete that we're gonna delete that okay cool so now we've got our they've just opted in we're gonna say you're one step away from joining the community and then we're gonna have a button so same thing radius our arrow and our bold text click here to join and we want this this is going to go to a website URL we're going to grab the link to our Facebook group we're going to select it in a new tab and First thing, let's give it some margin. And then we wanna make this button like really big. Yeah, like, great. Uh, you're one step away from joining the community. Click here to join. And like, I know it's obnoxiously big, but that's what we want. We need to make sure people join. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a hosted video and I filmed just a quick welcome video. If you've been through any of my funnels, you'll notice a lot of them have these. Basically just a personal welcome and kind of personally letting them know about how they're gonna get the bonus and also next steps. So we're gonna grab that, then I'm gonna go and grab the thumbnail. We're gonna turn off autoplay. So we've got all of that. Then what I always like to do on my thank you pages is sort of just like a TLDR, because uh, some people might not watch the video, but I still want them to get the information. Uh, so we'll put that TLDR, but before that, click here to join. Sometimes I'll put a bar above that's like, uh, you know, watch this for important information. The info in this is not super, super important. Like what's most important is that they click the button. So I don't think we're gonna put that pre-header, um, but we will just put the TLDR and I like to give that its own row. So we'll just give this guy his own row and I'll just do like this gray color. We'll do our double box shadow, just making one of these the negatives. Cool. And then I'm just gonna grab TLDR, take note of the info below. I'm gonna 
grab this. Let's just change our icon color to the yellow. Do these arrows. Ah, no, the yellow does not look good for the icon color. There we go. Okay, and we just need to put some context right here, TLDR. If you don't see I sent your free bonus courses your way. If you don't see your login email, follow the instructions below. And now what we do want to do actually is on one of my other funnels, I had this like nice help drop down. I want to save, uh, I want to, I want to save that as a template. So I'm going to come in here to my sites. Uh, I'm going to go to my FMF folder. This is going to be my DIY course. Uh, this is going to be thank you page. So I'm going to come in here to my thank you page for my DIY course, and I'm going to actually save this as a template. So we're going to click save. We're going to do help drop down. We're going to add that. I will do mm help drop down. Save that as a template. So now what I can do is just come back in here. So I can go to templates. And we want to make this background color yellow. And then we want to change this to yellow. So where's the color options? Title text. Uh, well, we'll do that black. All right, so let's just preview this real quick. All right, you know what I think I'm going to do? Because I don't want to cause confusion here. Um, if you don't see, you click the help drop down. I'm just going to change this text right here. Help, click the help drop down below. The video above. All right, cool. So just change, taking out some info that we don't necessarily need. TLDR, please take note of the info below. Um, I sent your free bonus is your way. If you don't see a login email, please follow the instructions below. Actually, you know what I think I honestly can do? Is just put the instructions right here. I don't think I need this info for this particular funnel. Uh, so we're just going to put the instructions right here. TLDR, please take note of the info below. If you want to just follow the instructions below. Awesome. Great, so let's just go ahead and get this guy good on mobile. Just resize, resize, resize. Okay, cool good to go. All right, and we have our funnel. So last thing we need to do, of course, we still need to do the form, which we'll do in just a second. Um, but the next thing we need to do is just go to our publishing tab and just create our link. So this is going to be FMF community invite And then we'll go back to publishing, community, thank you. Alrighty, so we just built our whole funnel. So the whole thing took about 40 minutes. Uh, would have been a lot quicker if I was just doing this without filming it. Um, but I think that you could definitely get a funnel like this built in under an hour easily. Uh, so we've got a nice funnel here. Oh, you know what? Make sure you publish. I'd only been saving. 
uh, we want to go ahead and publish the newest version. Uh, so when we save it, it kind of saves internally. So when you come back to edit it, but if you want it to go live, uh, then you need to actually publish it so that publishing it puts it live on the URL. Okay, so let's go ahead and here we go. Go ahead and refresh so we can get that new publish. There we go. Awesome. So next thing we're going to do is the form.